on a day trip today uh, going north on Interstate 25 right behind the rest area you'll see this monument out in the middle of nowhere and <laughs> this monument is a let me see if I can come over here and tell you tell you what this is there's an old sign so this place is actually abandoned now but that monument is the gateway to the El Camino Real International Heritage Center. It was dedicated, this uh, museum was dedicated in 2005. And um, it's hard to read these signs, but um, this place was only open for 10 years. And they built this museum out here in the middle of nowhere, expecting over 100,000 people to attend yearly to come to this museum every year. In 10 years, they only saw 7,800 visitors. <laughs> Why? Location, location, location. Yeah, it's out in the middle of nowhere. But the building's still there. We're going to drive down there and check out the building. It's supposed to be a really cool building. Deborah's been here, so um, I think she just happened upon it in her travels. So um, we were pretty close. So we're making a day trip, and um, let's go check it out. Of course, it's the wind's blowing, but the whole point of this is the Royal Road of the Interior. This was a route starting in New Mexico and um, brought settlers into today's New Mexico. And it spanned 1,600 miles. But, so that's why they, they thought, where else build a museum? Out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> People will come. Not. But could you imagine you designing a sculpture like that and your name's attached to it and <laughs> nobody ever sees it? Kind of sad, isn't it? Let me get the artist's name. Greg Wright. So, there you go. You should get some <laughs> some uh, notoriety for that sculpture. We're going to go up there here in a minute. Sammy, did you get out of the truck without permission? Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So there's a sculpture, but there's no path that we can see up to it. It's crazy. Oh, maybe that is the path. It's a rock. I think this is. Watch for snakes. Yeah, yep, it's pretty. Bird poop and graffiti. Yeah. It's pretty. Big piece of steel. writing on there it says though we travel the world over to find the beautiful we must carry it with us or we find it not and they have it in Spanish Ralph Emerson Father Emerson So we're driving up on the museum. There's the museum. And that is the house. I guess the, would you say the manager lived there? <laughs> yeah, why would you build a museum out here in the middle of nowhere? 
closed Mondays and Tuesdays. What do you see, Bandit? We are at the El Camino Real. Reminds me like it's a hotel or something. The museum. Gosh. Unbelievable. Bandit. The view is gorgeous, but watch where you're. It's boarded up on the inside. Somebody busted the handle off of it. Sammy says, Can I see inside? Open, open, open. Can't believe they don't have the escape lock either. It's just so weird. What do you think that big sculpture is down there? Wow. More artwork. Look how big that building is. I know. Can't believe it's not vandalized. That's surprising. Big old generator back there. They should have taken that generator out too. Wow, this I bet is an original uh, oven on the trail. Wow. That is awesome. And that, I'm assuming, was the because the trail, um, somebody built the fire. The trail followed the Rio Grande. Rio Grande? There's a road down there, so that can't be. The sign saying danger, no trespassing. What's so dangerous? Gosh, I bet that's a beautiful building inside. The tide comes in, pulls some sand back into the ocean. The land is lost in the fight it cannot win. The cycle begins. Blows me away that there's no graffiti in there. The windows are not, none of the windows are busted. Never see that. The cycle begins. Found a geocache. There's my truck. We hiked up this way and then come this way. There it is. And bring my stick. First things to know about geocaching: always bring a stick. <laughs> bring a hiking stick or something, because you don't want to be poking around in the bushes. 
You don't want to be poking around in the bushes with that stick. All right, it's all right. It's safe. My stick's not. That's a cool flat box. Okay, I signed the log book. Time to put it back. Oops. Ow. No. All right, let's go. Ready? I worked so hard. <laughs> you did. Where's the truck? Oh, it's, there it is. Penny is way over there. There's the road. We went a little farther up the road. Than Always take a stick and watch for snakes. Do as I say, don't do as I do. <laughs> right away, you come down this road. Okay, I'm geocaching now, and I'm just a little ways from the monument here. My phone buzz. There's some rocks over there. That's where I'm swimming. Oh, no. I think I was wrong. I think it's right here. <laughs> yeah. It's gotta be in here. What'd I say? Bring a stick. I have a pin this time. There it is. Cool. This is an old flashlight. That's a good container. That's pretty cool. And looky here. I brought several sizes. And it's gonna fit. Yay! Okay, let's put it back. Alright. And now we're headed to a fort just up the road a little ways north. I hope the footage is right. 14-4. <laughs> I can't see the yeah. Hope you don't meet anybody coming <laughs> coming this way. 